Hi, my name is Garai Burdi. I'm a chartered professional accountant serving clients located throughout the GTA in Ontario, Canada. In today's tutorial video, I am going to show you how you can file your own T2 corporate income tax return for your small business. Generally, I would recommend this only if you have a very small business with simple business expenses and no really tax complexities involved. Let's begin. Step 1. You need to compile the following basic statements. A balance sheet, income statement, trial balance, and general ledger. You can use many free online accounting softwares which can easily export these statements for you. I would recommend using Wave Accounting. For the purposes of this tutorial video, I have created sample statements. You can see here I have a balance sheet with the company name and the year and date. The statement details the assets of the company, the liabilities, and the shareholders' equity. In addition, there is also an income statement which details the revenues and expenses of the corporation. It also calculates the net income, which is revenue minus your expenses. Step 2. To download the schedules required, go to Google and search T2 Returns and Schedules. Click on the first link from the CRA. Here, you are provided all the PDF fillable files of corporate tax return schedules required to file a return in Canada. Note, you will not need to file all these schedules, but only particular ones. Step 3. Download the following schedules onto your computer. For the purposes of this video, I have downloaded all these schedules already. You will need the T2 Corporate Income Tax Return Schedule, which is Schedule 200, or commonly referred to as the Jacket. Download also Schedule 1, Net Income, for income tax purposes. Schedule 8, Capital Cost Allowance. Schedule 50, Shareholder, loan, uh, shareholder Information. Schedule 524. Ontario Specialty Types. This schedule is not required unless you're filing a return for a corporation located in Ontario. Download also Schedule 546, Corporations Information Act Annual Return for Ontario Corporations. Again, if you're not an Ontario corporation, you do not need to file this schedule. Next, download Schedule 100, which is for the balance sheet. Schedule 125, which is the income statement. And Schedule 141, which is the notes checklist. Download all of these schedules onto your computer as a PDF fillable. Step 4. Now that you have all the schedules downloaded, we can begin preparation of the T2 corporate tax return. Start by completing Schedule 100, which is inputting the balance sheet you compiled earlier. You can see I have inputted the company's corporation name, business number, and year end date. These three things will be required to be inputted on every schedule 
of the corporate tax return. This schedule is organized by assets, liabilities, shareholders equity, and retained earnings. These numbers have all been obtained from the financial statements compiled earlier. The CRA provides a field code for each balance sheet item. If you scroll below, there is a reference sheet. For example, cash has a field code of 1001. So you would go under assets, put in the field code of 1001 and the amount from your financial statement. Complete this for all the items on your balance sheet. Step 5. Complete Schedule 125, which is inputting the income statement you compiled earlier. This schedule is organized by revenue and expenses. Similar to Schedule 100, each item for the income statement has a field code and the amount is referenced from your compiled financial statements. If you scroll below, you will see an index providing the field codes for the income statement. As an example, the trade sales of goods and services has a field code of 8,000. If we scroll up under non-farming non revenue, we have the field code of 8,000 and the amount from our compiled financial statement of $10,000. Complete the same step for all your income statement items. Step 6. Complete the Giphy Schedule 141, which is Notes Checklist. This is an informational schedule for the CRA. Read each question carefully and check off accordingly. Your answers will be very similar to this example for many of you. Step 7. Complete Schedule 524. Remember, this schedule is only required if you're an Ontario corporation. If you are a federal corporation, do not file this schedule. Your answer will be very similar to this example for many of you. Step 8. Complete Schedule 546. Again, this schedule is for Ontario corporations only. If you are a federal corporation or, or a corporation located in another province, you will not need to file this particular schedule. Be careful to read Part 3 carefully for changes that need to be reported, such as a change in director or officer. Many of you will not have to file any of part 6 or part 7 or part 5. Step 9. Complete Schedule 50. 
This schedule reports to shareholders only more than 10% of shares in the corporation. You need to report the legal name of the shareholder, the social insurance number, and the share ownage percentage. If you have multiple shareholders, they should each be listed. Step 10. Complete Schedule 8. This schedule reports any depreciable capital assets of the company and calculates the capital cost allowance. In column 1, we have the class number, which depends on the type of asset. You can determine the class number by visiting the CRA website. Column 3, we have the cost of acquisitions, which is the purchase cost of the asset. In our example company, we had an asset of computer hardware, which is purchased for $500. Column 7, we apply the half year rule. Column 9, we apply the depreciation rate. Column 12 reports the amount that can be deducted, $138. Column 3 reports the amount that's undepreciated and can be carried forward into the future years to be further depreciated. As a tip, make sure when you're selecting your class for depreciation, you carefully review the rules because some classes are exempt from the 50% rule. Step 11. Complete Schedule 1. This schedule takes the accounting income from Schedule 125 and reconciles it for tax purposes. Certain expenses are added or deducted for income tax purposes. In our example, we only had one item that was deducted, capital cost allowance from Schedule 8. This gives us a taxable income, sorry, a net income for income tax purposes of $3,912. Step 12, complete schedule 200 or the jacket. The first page requires you to fill in all the basic corporation information. On the second page, you're required to check off any schedule that will be attached with the T2 jacket. In our example, we had Schedule 50, Schedule 1, and Schedule 8. On the third page, you're required to provide details on the business activities and the percentage the corporation does this activity. For many of you, you will only have one activity, which means 100%. Finally, we get to the corporate tax calculations in the upcoming pages. It starts by taking the net income from tax purposes from Schedule 1, which is $3,912. Carefully read the instructions for each calculation. The business limit for corporations in Canada is half a million dollars. Be careful to read the instructions carefully. For example, enter amount G on line I on page 7, which is a few pages ahead.
pay attention to the alphabet letters on the right. For example, amount I multiplied by 13%. Some of the sections will not be applicable. Part 1 tax payable represents the federal tax rate, which is roughly 11%. The provincial tax rate for Ontario is 4.5%. The total tax payable in our example is $607. Remember to sign off on this jacket. Step 13. Make sure to double check your calculations. A good benchmark to make sure your corporate tax payable was calculated correctly is if you take the corporate tax rate, which is federal 11%, plus the provincial rate, which in our case is Ontario, is 4.5%, gives us a total corporate tax rate of 15.5%. If we take our taxable income and multiply it by the corporate tax rate, for a very simple business, it should be relatively close, if not exact. For our example, if I take the taxable income, which is 3912, and multiply it, by the corporate tax rate of 15.5%, we will get $606. On the return, we got exactly 607 due to rounding. This is a good sign. This is a good sign you've completed the calculations correctly. Step 14. Make sure you sign off the T2 jacket or schedule 200. On page 8, on the bottom, it requires the signature. Once you sign off, print off all the schedules and organize them as follows. Put the jacket first, then schedule 1, schedule 8, schedule 50, schedule 100, schedule 125, schedule 141, schedule 524, and Schedule 546. Print these out, staple them together, and submit them to, to the CRA Tax Center. I hope you found this video helpful. If you find yourself having difficulty completing your tax return or any of these schedules involved, I encourage you to get in touch with me to ensure you file correctly. I would also encourage you to visit our website at birdie.ca where you can schedule a free consultation to discuss your situation with me. You can leave a question on our tax forum, read our blogs for more great tax tips. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe for more tax tip videos on the way. Thank you for watching.